hello lovely guys welcome to my youtube channel tech connect and learning and today we would be talking about an error which you can just see over on screen this is related to the microsoft office activation wizard and this error says this copy of microsoft office is not activated and you will face this error each and every time whenever you will open a microsoft application like a window ms excel powerpoint Whatever you will open, you will get an error. Even though if you will close this error, then in the top of this uh, title bar, you can see this product activation is failed. So what I can do, I am not going to activate your product, but yes, we can hide this error using some uh, command or the process. So if you want to know that process, so stay tuned and keep watching and let's get started. So first you have to open the this PC. Let's open the this PC and look for the C drive. In your case, the drive can be different, but usually it is a C drive so wherever our program is getting installed. So just open that drive and then you have to check your PC. If it is a 64 bit, then you have to go to the program files or if it is 32 bit, then you have to come into the into 86 program file and how you will check that uh, your system is running on 64 bit or 32 bit so it's very simple just again find this pc and then right click on this pc go to properties inside the properties you will see that your system type is 64 bit okay in your case it could be 32 or 64 and accordingly you have to choose the folder in my case it is 64 bit so i will select the program files inside the program files i will look for microsoft office no i will look for common files inside the common files you will have microsoft shared folder just click on that and then you will have an folder that we call office software protection platform just open it and here you will see a kind of uh, uh, file that we call OSPPCRM. Okay, just right click on this file and run as an administrator. Make sure you will run this file as an administrator, otherwise, this problem will not get resolved. So, run this file as an administrator. I'll click yes, and there would be a, some uh, command prompt will prompt, and then this file will get refreshed. And now Close this window. I'll do it one more time. Run as administrator. Okay. And it is done. And if I close this window and if I open any Word document again, let's see if error exists or not. See the magic? There is no error. Okay. So in this way, you can uh, get hide this particular error and use your particular application successfully without any error so thanks for watching and have a nice day take care and goodbye